That looks like a hole there because they're breaking there and then Well, this is what we came to uh, to our bro for, to Scotland for. Wind, rain, and hopefully there'll be a fish or two. Swells running nicely. There's not much colour in the water, but uh, we're on a really pretty heavy ground mark, I think. Although I've never been here, so I've got no idea. Um, but it's looking good. It's good sea running. Got a squid and cart wrap here, probably a bit big for the sea that's running, but uh, I'm not chucking far. Just into where there's a little hole there, you can see the waves stop breaking, and that's, I think hopefully that's where the fish are going to be. For once, I had to feather me cast down. <laughs> it is daylight, so we're not expecting a huge amount, but we're here, so we're going to have to fish. Not have to, want to fish. I mean, look, it's brilliant. So conditions-wise, uh, tide's dropping. It's quite a large tide. We've got a strong southeasterly, pretty much onshore, 30 mile an hour wind. As you can see, there's a little bit of swell running. It's forecast to be about four foot, but I think because of the onshore wind, it's flattening it down a bit. But color could be better in the water. It's just a bit milky. Ideally, you want it as black as possible, especially during daylight, but can't have everything we're on way, can we? Three degrees, with the wind chill, it's reasonably chilly. Um, and we're meant to get sporadic bursts of rain all day, so... Scotland. Oh, that was a knock. Right on the edge of a kelp bird. Or probably just in it. And uh, the kelp's just banging off my lines, creating this vibration. It's either that I'm rubbing along the end of a rock. But that was a proper knock there. First one of the day. Come on, fish. Well, this has had a candy soak. It's the third cast here. Um, and I think we've had two bites between us, so I believe we're going to uh, pack up and move spots. This is kind of emptying out now. You can start to see the top of the kelp and all the rocks, so it feels like a time to move. Let's see if we can get any of me tackle back. <sighs> We've got a trace or a massive amount of weed on here. <laughs> Looks good, but it's not. <laughs> I think I've got kelp or an old trace. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> it's not fighting if it is. I kelp with a rock on it. Bait untouched. Well, here we are at a new spot with a really nice wave cut platform with what looks like a steep drop straight in front. Uh, I've left Steve and uh, Keith over that way because I really fancied this spot. Um, looks like it's slightly deeper water. I've been watching the swell and I'm kind of in, in a gully here, I think, straight out from us anyway. So I've got my bait on, which is squid and carp. I'm just going to chuck it as hard as I can as well. There's, it looks nice and deep, so... And I'm into a headwind, which isn't ideal for someone of my casting ability. <laughs> it's 
So we were fishing over there. Keith has waded out onto these rocks here, the nut there. And Steve is on the rocks there. You can see his green box just. That didn't last long at all. Take long. <laughs> Come back. So this is our first full day here. Um, Travelled up yesterday morning, got to the accommodation, uh, sorted the kit out and then went out fishing for at about half three, four o'clock to a, I think it's a well popular mark. Um, there was plenty of bait wrappers and things, so, so it must have been. So, what I'm going to do is I'll show that uh, that session now. Once you're back, maybe this um, this bite might have uh, progressed, and we might end up with a fish on the shore. I like your hippie rug in the back there. Yeah, it's good. That loads of colour and all. A fly. <laughs> it's a cod, Ling, Tommy. Hi. Well, it's a good start to our bro fishing, like. I heard there were monsters here. Give us me five o back, fella. That was taken on a straight lug worm, so I'm gonna do it again. I missed that one. We've got absolutely loads of different types of bait. Squid, a few peeler crabs, hermit crab. Um, which is what this cocktail is here. There's a big squid as well. Mackerel, mussel. Um, but I left me caught in the Accommodation, which is pretty stupid. It's a big squid. It's good because the one I catch one of one of those tiddlers. Right, it's time to get this monster bait on. I think. Been 
pecked away by little little bites. I suspect there's lots of little coddling out there. <laughs> yeah, no left for that hermit crab. That is a monster bait. Should probably go down to seven out uh, six ounces for me lead, but never mind. I'm not like that out very far or hard. Is that a canny sort now? Even the coli bites have stopped, so I'm guessing there's no bait left. So it's time for another one. About an hour after low water. Hoping that the ebb might have turned the fish on, but no. Nah. Can he rough for a flat forecast? <laughs> Alright, not much bait left on that. Go. That is pungent. Those hermits reek, but that's what we want. Oh, that was a better bite. A little bit more on the rattle. Yep, there we go. Just a little in like, a bit bigger than me last one. Finally, been fishing for four hours. Oh, it's just walking up off on the rock. Oh, you're joking. Coolie? Biggin. <laughs> Good hook to 6 0. Eh? Call it. Aye. Well, that's it, we're calling it tonight. Half 10. Been here 7 hours. Two tiny, tiny codlin and a reasonable coolie. Roll on tomorrow. Well, that was. Last night's session, our first session here. My first session at the uh, supposed cod mecca of, uh, of Scotland. This is a place I've wanted to, uh, to visit for years and years, but never, I've actually never done a, a cod fishing road trip. When I first started fishing, um, when forums were still a thing, there was a local forum and this place was loads of people from that forum used to travel up here you know you'd see pictures of massive bags of fish some doubles in there and you know 30 40 pound bags of fish for a night um so it was always like yeah yeah let's go let's go let's go but just for whatever reason never have but got invited on a trip with these guys steve and keith and a, and a couple of others that we'll probably see later and here we are fishing as much as we can 
day session and night sessions, eating Scottish pies, uh, drinking iron brew, hopefully getting into some fish, but as you saw from last night's session, even though everything's great, conditions wise, we're just not getting there. Oh, I hear Steve calling, I think that's time to leave. Sounds like we're going to make another move. We've spied another mark uh, near uh, the mouth of an estuary. So we're going to uh, give that a go. The bites really haven't developed here, so I think the aim of the game, or the key for us to get into some fish, is just to keep moving. So, going to wind this in. I mean, and then uh, hopefully get out before this rain cloud comes. Right, let's get packed up and onwards. <laughs> Some swell that like. You can see there's a bowl here of death. But you can see the current on that side there. Yeah, this rock looks like it's dead loose, but it's not. It's solid, but very, very slippery. Well, so here we are out on um, day three, and this is our one, two, three fourth session um, I didn't put the camera back on last night because the, uh, we were fishing on a ledge where the waves were coming up and over and I just couldn't get a tripod on else I'd lose all my kit um, to be honest the fishing was pretty much the same as it has been uh, since I got here I think we had one fish in and that was about it so we called it a night the next day which is today We've traveled further north to go move away from the kind of more popular areas that we're fishing. Well, hopefully we've found a place that isn't as pressured as all the others, because the others are just like marks that are, you know, well known and very, very popular. So uh, this place is pretty much epic, given the, uh, the terrain and the, the sea and all sorts, it's great. So sea conditions, we've got um, five foot swell rolling loads of colour in the water, tides going down, we've got a gentle eight mile an hour wind. Looks like we might get some rain, but that's all right, as long as I can still record. Oh, oh, getting a bite. But the idea is, is we should be able to fish through the night, um, depending on if the fishing's any good. If it's not, then we'll head back and have a curry and then we'd maybe, tomorrow's the last day of our trip, we might just go to a completely different area. I only got a three second drop there. I think, oh, that's a bite. Go on, mate. Get it. You get it? Nah. So I've got my usual panel paternoster with seven ounce lead because the swell's so big. Squid, uh, no, not squid. Mussel, crab, and blow lug with a 6 -0, um, mustard viking and uh, a 5 -0 circle hook from a panel. Oh, this place feels really fishy. It's a lush spot to be at. It looks like we're going to have a reasonable sunset as well, so yeah. Right. Rod tips bouncing in the swell there. We have odd waves coming over, so hopefully this thing stays dry. Oop. And uh, yeah, we get some fish on the shore because it's about bloody time. Hi. Hi, 
Tiny little rattle there, probably a coolie. Hey, fish. Doesn't feel big. Blanks off. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, I think it's just come off when it broke the surface. Yeah, it did. Okay. Oh. Time for another bait. The wind's picking up. So, squid and carp. Bit of a messy one. Get it out. rain fully coming in now. Sorry about any water on the lens, I can't really do anything about that. Also had to use, take my microphones off so if the audio is muffled or whatever. Cod fishing in the winter in Scotland. This bait's been out a little while, we've just started getting a few rattles so the past few sessions we've had, the fish have been better at this time and turning into darkness or going into darkness so this is kind of the witching hour for us and if it doesn't fish at that point then it's probably not going to fish later on but we'll see um i got tech company what a bite man oh. come on feel the vibration through my line i'm obviously over some sort of edge I think I missed this. Well, maybe not. Yeah. Not a reasonable, well, a little bite there. Absolutely trashed me bait. Sure, I was on, but I obviously missed it. But uh, as darkness is coming, so are the fish by the seams of it. So, because uh, that was two rattles in about five minutes, so I'm gonna get baited up again. Get another bait back out. Looks too good not to have a fish here. Right, here we go. Squid and cart again. Fishing's got to turn on now. Directly in front of me. If you want to go left again then. Oh, there's a bite. A cod lock. That was the best bite all day, that.
So we're hoping that the onset of darkness would bring the fish at dusk anyway. There's still some sunset going on over there. The fish just, it's not like Northumberland where they have a knock. Then you wait a few minutes and then they come back most of the time. Here it's almost like a smash and grab, but it's more like a coli. Just gave my rod a little pull there and it felt like my leg just dropped down into a deeper gully, so I was either on top of something. Well, I was definitely on top of something. Or I just pulled down into a gully, which may be snaggy, but it may have fish in it. Either way, that bite didn't materialise into anything. And if anyone at Rig Shark's watching this, I do like your uh, tip lights. I like the clip on style of them. And I like the idea of, uh, of the smart tip lights that shows a bite, but they're too sensitive for this type of fishing. Lots of false bites. Oh, I just had a proper cod knock there. Yes! On this time. Oh, it feels like a canny one, Steve. This feels like a canny one, unless I've got a trace or something. Oh no, it's knocking. Oh yeah, thumps, get in. This beats me last fish, or any fish I'd have had so far in this area by about 400 times. And the hook's just fallen out, it's right on the lip. Here we go. I don't know, about 45 centimetres, maybe? Maybe a bit longer. <laughs> oh, that feels so good. Here's the next bait. It's a squid cart and I've got some blow lug to use up, so I've just put a load of fresh blow on there as well. Why not, eh? Just casting, Steve. Next bait in the water. Bring on the fish. Yeah, that was a good one. Oh, it just hooked itself. Oh, just let me camera run out as well. Hooked itself, that one. It hooked itself.
Whoa, you greedy bastard. Ah, and then hook the circle as well. There we go, there's the next fish. Oop. Next fish, about half the size of the last one. Still on size, but fishing's finally coming good ish. Right, need some new hook lengths because that snood was chafed too. So, because this is pretty rough stuff. There's also the chance of a reason well, there's always a chance of a reasonable fish, but uh I've got an 80 pound which is the same length as me, uh sorry, same weight as my rig body. I would have preferred to use amnesia but it's just couldn't get a hold of any in time. Bit more subtle than this stuff. This stuff's alright, it's just <laughs> I'm a bit stuck in my ways of using amnesia. Oh yeah. There it is. Whoa, get in there, Stevie. Alright, yeah. Nice. Get on the board there, son. On the board, eventually. Nice bite, man. I think they're hungry now. Oh, that wind's picked up again. Steve just went short with his cast, which is probably about the same length as mine, so I'm going to go shorter again. Next bait in the water. Steve just went short with his cast, so um, I've gone shorter again because he's probably, he can cast properly as you've probably seen. And uh, he got a bite instantly. So I've gone shorter again, just to test the theory that they might be closer in. Yes, we've both got fish now. Fish seem to turn. This is the best fishing we've had in uh, three days. Lots and lots of hours, so bye. Happy days. Let's see if we can get some bigger ones. Nice night to be out, though. It's the first time we've seen the moon. Stars. It's not raining. Um, yeah. Rush. Oh, Stevie just had a hit there. Literally just cast out. Oh, I've got some good feeling. I wish I had more bait. I think I've probably gone too short, but it doesn't seem that way. It's staying deep. There it is. Not very big, but I'll take it. There's the next fish, same size as the last one. 40 centimetres, pound in a bit. Chunky little thing. Get it in. So there's the next one. No, no monster again, but after the last couple of days, it's uh, what a relief. It's good fishing too. Enjoyable. Not too long between bites. Nice night. Bit chilly, but happy days. It's coming up and over. Like it's not going to be long before it's. I might move my camera cases higher up. Can you see it? Can you spot it? 
Four, five, I would quite like a cod. Uh, I would quite like a cod rather than just a codlin. Uh, no, no. Uh, quite there, so it's fighting on it because I bet it's water, it's fighting a bomb. Yeah, yeah, they are, yeah. Mm-hmm. Good head shakes for a wee uh, fish. Yeah. It's good though because you can take your time as well, you don't have to like know in the rocks. Aye, I know I was just winding it, I was like, oh this is enjoyable this, I'm enjoying the fight. Yeah, you can play them. Oh, <laughs> what? It's got uh, squid blasted. <laughs> yeah. Sorry mate. <laughs> the wee bait this time. Squid getting smaller. First crack off in years, time for a new bait and rig. Damn it! Right, that's the next bait then. Well, it looks like my reels had a bit of a clean. It's pretty wild out here now. Right, bail on off, no check wrap. There we go, next bait, hopefully the next fish. It's getting a bit wild out here now, which is cool, but uh, it's gonna make filming tricky, unfortunately. Well, it's getting a little bit close to squeaky bum time. Water's coming up and around the back of us and up over the top here and the tide's pushing in so we're going to see out this cast and then we've got to climb back out of here yet. Just packed up my stuff, ready for a sharp exit. But we're going to see out this cast first. Hopefully we're not pushing our luck too much. Gonna have to pack this camera away because uh, we might need to get off here shortly. I know it doesn't seem like much on the camera probably but one wave and what's going to happen is we'll end up getting just sucked straight down the ramp behind the way into the gully. Spend 10 minutes packing away and then we're gonna have to climb back out. And the bit where I came down there's kind of waves crashing over it at the minute so yeah exciting. Right, let's get this back in. It's time to do one. Didn't even have a bite on that cast. See how close the water is with a five, six foot swell. See? I, was a little I love that feeling when you've uh, just been on the edge oh, and then you get when, to where we are now and it's like, what? Oh. A little naughty, I like it. Well, we made it back to the car, all right. Uh, what a session. Fishing wasn't on fire, but um, it hasn't been for this whole trip. The 
mark though and the kind of the adventure was was brilliant it's something i've not really done that much with my bait kit so uh thoroughly enjoyed that um i'm gonna keep this short because it's absolutely chugging it down um but the area itself northeast scotland or east scotland it's good great place to come it's a nice alternative had to check it out with all the news um and the years and years of seeing you know big bags of fish caught so you know every tide's different every day is different every bait's different every lure's different etc etc so yeah uh still though cracking trip good bunch of people um great little towns and uh good weather as well so hope you enjoyed the video and until the next one tight lines <laughs>